Hello Scratcher and welcome back to Robo Freaks. You all are in for a treat as today we learn how to use cloud variables. But remember, this feature is only available to those who are already a Scratcher. So if you are not a Scratcher yet or don't know what it actually means, go check out this video and earn that well deserved title. Before we understand what a cloud variable is, we should know what a variable means. As the name suggests, it is something that can be changed or does not have a fixed value. But why do we need a variable? Well, variables are used for all sorts of things, from storing the score of a player to the number of lives a player has, from storing the time left to the number of laps a car has completed. You see, without a variable, we cannot imagine making any good game. But what is all the hype about cloud variables? And what does it mean when we say cloud? Is it this cloud? <laughs> Obviously not. Cloud is just another machine like your computer. But it is always connected to the internet. And whatever you store on the cloud, can be accessed from anywhere as long as you are connected to the internet. So in simple words, cloud variables are those which are stored on the cloud rather than your computer. So even if you close the game or shut down your computer, the data stored on the cloud does not change and can be accessed again. To show what this means, let us modify the very famous Corona Warrior game and add a high score feature in it. So suppose 100 players are playing the Corona Warrior game and I want to know who has the highest score among them. Sounds fun. It is simple too. We will create our own block called set high score, which we will use to decide if the player has scored a high score or not. And we will need a variable which will store the high score value. So I will name it high score. And make sure to select the cloud variable option so this value will be saved even if you close the game. Since this is a high score, it will only be updated if the current score is higher than the high score. In our set high score block, we will add an if condition and see if score is greater than high score. If it is, then boom, this has become a new high score. Right? Hence, we will update the high score using set block. Now all we have to do is call set high score when game finishes. And done, this is all the code needed to create high score feature for our game. Let's test it out. Now since this is our first game, the high score is 0. Let's play. We scored 225 points, which is of course greater than 0, which is current high score. And hence, high score was updated. This time, our score was low and you can see that the high score was not updated. Now to test the real feature of cloud variable, we will play this game from another account. Notice how the high score is still 225. And if I play this game and achieve a bigger score, The high score is updated. Amazing, right? We just change a variable's value from two different accounts. This can be two different computers, mobile. And it won't matter because cloud variables can be accessed from anywhere. Hope you learned something new today. And I hope to see you guys smashing the scoreboards of Corona Warrior. If you enjoyed watching this video, 
hit the like button and subscribe for more such new and amazing ideas using scratch see you in the next video till then happy learning freaks